Hello Livewires! It's Tip Tuesday! Today I'm going to show you how to make some clasps out of wire that are a great alternative to lobster clasps. What you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge wire. I'm using tarnish resistant brass. You can use half hard wire. I have my cutters, round pliers and flat pliers. I'll link up the video to show you how to make a basic clasp and hoop. The first design has a carabiner style little hinge there and when you put the loop in it stays closed. We'll take about six inches of the 20 gauge wire and a couple inches from the end I'm just going to loop it around and then we'll take our flat pliers hold it about an eighth of an inch from the end and just bend it back on an angle and take our round pliers hold it about three-eighths of an inch and bend it down. If you're doing a simple clasp you can just end it there and do a loop. So I'll just hold it with my flat pliers around here and hold it snugly and bend this around a full turn and then up about here. You can give it a little pinch so it's just in the center there and then we're just going to hold it with the flat pliers and bend it straight up. This wire is much longer than what we need. And then just above where that band is we're going to hold this wire here and make a teeny little loop around here. We want to make a closed loop and then I'm going to cut it flush, pinch it so it's flush there and we want this to be inside of that one. You can just take this, open it up a bit and pop it in there so it's inside between those two wires. You can straighten it out a little bit, adjust that a bit so it's centered and then for this end we just want to make a loop so this doesn't slide. I'm actually going to give it a little pinch so it's going to stay in place and then we cut this one to 3 8 to half an inch. Take our round pliers and loop it around to the back or the front to make sure it's flush and close it up. So there's our clasp. So to do the loop you just need a couple of inches of wire. This is probably too long and we're just going to take it about an inch and a bit from the end. We're going to make a small loop, any size loop you want. Close that and then take this, wind it around one or two times, clip the end, pinch it in, the end's coming that way so we're going to hold it with the pliers and then bend it towards where that end is. Get your larger round pliers, hold it in and make a larger loop. It's good to have a larger one to go into the clasp. And then we're going to hold this with the flat pliers and go around a couple of times until this end matches up with the other end. And then we're going to cut it and pinch it in so those ends meet and then when you put it into the clasp you're going to be able to stick it in there and it snaps closed and it's secure. So the second one is done slightly differently. We've done a loop there to prevent the one side of the clasp from coming out. We'll start it in the same way we did the first one two to three inches from the end. We're just going to bend this one around to make a loop. Again we'll get the flat pliers and bend it out on a bit of an angle and then the larger round pliers to bring that around. So this is our starting point and then we want to do a loop just underneath there. So take your round pliers, start the loop here 
You can adjust it a bit. We might have to move it up a little bit. So just hold that and bring it around. And then we're going to flip this over and complete the loop. So we have a loop there. You can make it larger if you want. And the idea is this loop is going to go in between these two wires. So now we're going to hold these two wires with the flat pliers, bend this one around, and clip it. So then we just have to give that a little pinch. I'm just going to hold it with my round pliers, bend it back, and make a loop. Make it whatever size you want. It doesn't have to be too big. So we're just going to bring it around here. And then if you're worried about this part slipping, you can hold this, bring this one around, and where that little end is, hold this with your finger and go over that little end to catch it, and around, and then up. So that catches the end so it won't jump back and forth. Get your little pointy end there and clip it. Pinch it in place to get the rough end in. And then you're going to see this isn't going to move anywhere because it's secured there. You'll see how the little loop goes in between that little hoop there. So you'll see when you push it in, it's going to snap in place and it won't come out again. So this just gives it a nice little extra security and you can pinch it a bit if you need to. But it really should just stay in there. The third one is made with 18 gauge wire. It's a little simpler design. You don't need a very big piece. This is about four inches. You want to make sure that's cut flush. We'll start by doing the loop. So we're just going to take this one in. This loop can be smaller. And then we'll take our larger round pliers, put them in here. Looks a bit like an infinity sign but one loop is bigger than the other and then we're just going to cut that flush and pinch that so it's closed. You could even tap it a bit with a hammer if you like and then for the hook we'll just clip that flush. I'm just going to do a very small loop at the end just around there. You can make sure it's closed and get your larger round pliers. Bring this one around whatever size you want. And then we just want to do a little loop there. Again, just to give it a bit of a buffer. So pretty well parallel to that loop. We're going to take this one around. You can move it up a little bit if you prefer and bring that down. This design can be simpler because the wire is thicker and stronger. Then we need another little loop here. So we're just going to take these pliers or you can make it bigger if you want and do a little loop. Give that a clip and pinch that so it's flush. Adjust it so they're level. And then we'll take that and that can just hook right into there. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you the next time.